to be alive mm -hmm. after Einstein, rather than the reverse. Right. Um, Isaac Newton had a had a form of mathematics called um, oh the binomial expansion, where basically you can take anything that's mathematic, your sines, cosines, even the definition of pi, and you can put them in the expansion format. Mm -hmm. And if you add them all up, you get the correct the 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 correct definition of pi or sine and everything else. Mm -hmm. But but it's usually meant for a binomial expansion. If you really take a Einstein's equation, mm -hmm. it is a binomial. It is a binomial expression. Right. It's right. A, it, it, it's, it's, it's mass a, and energy are equivalent. If you do nothing more than shove that into Newton's uh, series expansion, mm -hmm. you will and and you multiply it like like Einstein did. Yeah, by m zero c squared, you multiply every one of the series expansion by that. Mystically, the first term, which is one, when it's multiplied times m zero c squared, is a large force. The second one turns out to be kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, to it, one right. half m v squared, mm -hmm. not c squared, mm -hmm. because Einstein had v. Uh, but the, and the C's cancel. It goes on ahead and basically shows that there are as many as seven significant forces. Really? And the first, if you can include the kinetic energy, it turns out to be the first five we know. Right. The, the sixth, five. seventh, and eighth we don't know. Right. So but, you're saying... But we're, ta we're taking the expression associated with the binomial expansion and taking a look at it, and it looks like that that indeed there are that we believe that anti-gravity is there. That it's one of them. It's one of the forces. One of the. But we have forces that are yet yet to be named. Up here, a picture. <laughs>